Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you caching in ASP.NET Core. Caching is a technique of storing frequently used data in a temporary storage area. Caching improves performance and scalability and when we implement caching on data, the copy data of the stored in the temporary storage area. Hence, with the same data is requested next time, it's picked up from the temporary storage area, loading it much faster than from the original source. So uh, here I'm uh, going to show you how caching implemented in ASP.NET Core. Actually, there are two types of the uh, implementation that is the server farm and the second one is sticky session. And I'm going to show you uh, in memory cache in this example. So first of all, add a new NuGet uh, package from into your library. That package is actually Microsoft.Extensions.Caching.Memory and that package is actually pre-release package. So just download it uh and just install the current version okay so after that you have to install your current version of nuget package that is microsoft extensions dot caching dot memory and uh, you know that that package is used uh, uh, for your um, memory cache and in memory caching is service called by dependency injection in the application so uh, just use service dot uh, add memory cache into your project by uh, using startup.cs file so just open your startup.cs file and that is startup.cs file you have to add services dot add uh, your uh, in memory cache value add memory cache so so we register it in the configure service method of the startup class okay that is uh, you have to add it like that services services dot add memory cache and uh, to implement the memory cache we create a controller named home controller uh, the uh, the controller holds the implementations of in memory cache so uh, now after that you have to add first of all controller folder now in which you can add a new controller that is the home controller and that controller is empty controller so controller class empty and the name suggest as home controller okay so that is the home controller now we create a i memory cache interface instance in the home controller using constructor dependency injection so for do this use i memory cache interface and uh, create a simple variable that is type of private and uh, just generate constructor by using the tooltips so home controller i memory cache memory cache that memory cache variable is actually initialized in a constructor so after that you have to generate a view for the index folder and set the path uh, or you can say the route for the um, application so use add ambishi methods you can use also asp.net core but here you can use asp.net mvc because the uh, it's your you cannot use here here conventional routing so you have to use routing actually attribute routing so endpoint dot map controllers is the example of the you can say the attribute routing okay so attribute routing to do this as use a route in a controller class so that is home and the index method and in the controller action method you have to implement a caching so the first thing uh, you have to know that try get value so uh, try get value is a method in the memory cache you can say so this method reads value and assign it it out parameter it returns true if the value exists otherwise written false so remember that again so the first thing is related to your try uh, that is try get value so add it try get value use memory cache dot try get value the first parameter meter in the try get value is the key of the um, of your uh, memory cache and uh, you can say that method reads value and assign it 
it in the out parameter assign it in, into the out parameter okay if returns true then if the value exists otherwise return false okay so the next thing you have to check true and false by using the if statements that is already exist not actually exist uh, so that uh, we have to set uh, your uh, caching so use the set method as well as set sliding expiration with the uh, certain times so set sliding expiration is the method uh, by using you can use memory cache ex uh, entry options so in uh, it set cache expiration from absolute to sliding when we make another request and expiration time then it will be re um, renewed with each response now we create a view named index under view home and folder and after that okay so you have to say that uh, ca cache entry options new memory cache entry options dot set sliding expirations method so uh, that is the set expiration method to cache expiration from absolute to slidings okay and whenever we make another request with the expiration time now after that after set some uh, by using time spans you, you have to set some seconds like uh, using from seconds method uh, like 20 seconds and after that you have to set method to use of the memory cache that is this method writes data in the cache this method has three options cache key name data which is to be cached and the expiry issue options respectively so there is so that is the first is the cache key and second is the uh, cash uh, data and the cash expiration time so after that you have to return the current time okay so that is so respectively view have to uh, generate um, according to the index action method so uh, actually return the current time you can say the date time you can say so uh, here you can use the date time methods to, from which uh, in the asp.net core applications now after that uh, design a view section so in the model section you have to add a date time so that is the date time okay so that is make nullable if the value will be null then set and uh, after that you have to use class that is row and uh, after that you have to add span class span attribute sorry a span element and uh, in the span element you have to add a date time dot now dot that is the current time uh, of your uh, computer actually Okay, and the second one is related to your date time that is cached date time you can say so according to the view here you have to do generated so the above code shows current time and the cache time then now we will uh, run the application and make some uh, out uh, to change some outputs according to your data you have to sh to show that model dot no uh, now dot to string is not there actually model dot value because uh, the past value from the controller at here in the form of value okay so after that you have to run your application and see the outputs so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which are related to ASP.NET Core because my actually my uh, the whole uh, videos are related to the ASP.NET Core and uh, I'm related to ASP.NET Core so please subscribe my channel and uh, share uh, this video so that is the cast time if you have to wait some times uh, like the 20 seconds then you have to notice that both values are updated so just wait and watch uh, the both values are updated according to the times uh, 11 7 uh, 2020 but the time noted that 10 for 47 and 11 
uh, that second will be 22 but in the cast you can notice that 10 46 48 that is the cast actually so wait sometimes like the 20 seconds and after that you have to notice that the value will be updated according to the current time of your uh, of your system so wait uh, 20 seconds only and after that your value will both value will be updated so what's uh, wait 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 so uh, this is the simple demonstration of your uh, caching uh, and how to implement this so that is the thing you have to add in your uh, application so just refresh it and notice that both times are updated thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching